Hi, in this video, we will discuss about how to set request headers in API tester. So what do you mean by request headers? So these parameters are featured in the request header and are usually related to authorization. Okay, there are n number of headers will be there uh, in the API. Sometimes those are automatically added and these are technical information. And most of the times we will use authorization in the request headers from the our side. Okay, so by taking one example, we'll see. So the same authorization we will see. Let me go to here. I have one of the post request call this order. Simple books API glitch.me slash orders. I want to execute this. Okay, so let me create a post request. So this is my post request and I want to execute this. So these are, I can say request headers. So submit order. Okay, submit order. I'll just run this one. You see that you are missing authorization header. In the header, I'm missing the authorization. So I want to provide some authorization to execute this. Okay, so where it is in the header section here. You see that already you have content type application slash some information. Okay, so here you can add one more header and otherwise if you click on this edit section, you can see that here you can provide the information. Okay. So slash, simply I, I'll just take an example, key slash value. So the moment when you go here, it will add, you see that key value. Uh, let me look into this, how they are giving. So I think uh, it should be in the next line. Let me check this. So these are multiple, it is showing. content type colon e colon value okay so now key value okay you can click on add header okay add header so let me add one more thing key one value one Okay, so if you go to this edit section, so it will add one more value, right? So here, what it is means, if you have multiple values, if you want to provide, instead of click add header and giving here, you can go here and you can directly copy paste or you can directly provide how many values you can, you want. Okay, how many values you want, you can do here. Okay, that will reflect in this headers area. Okay, now I don't need this one. I'll just remove this. So we'll provide proper information and see how it will be. Otherwise you can uncheck here. Okay, otherwise you go here and uh, remove this. Sorry. Okay. So now you don't see those. You have only one which is there in this edit section. Now I want, when I execute this one, it is expecting some authorization header, right? So I do not have authorization. So I'll create an authorization for that we have, we need to execute one more post request with this information, okay? So let me create one more post. So this is headers authorization, request headers authorization. So let me remove this untitled, right, okay. 
So here we need to provide this information, client name and client email. Okay. So for that, you need to go to the body, raw, tab and click on post data. So in this section, you need to provide that information. So what is that? Client name, colon, and you need to provide API test. Some dummy data I'm giving, client email. Client email, API test, tester at the rate example.com. Some dummy data, but at least it needs some client name and client email. So I provided this information and click on that cross mark and just execute this now. Now it will provide you one access token. Okay. This is the access token I just got. Now I'll go back to the submit order. So in the request headers, along with this content type, some other information. So I need to provide this authorization in the header section. So I can go to here. You need to provide authorization, colon. You need to provide this information. Okay, colon and this. The moment when you close this, you see authorization and it is provided here. So with the help of this edit section, you can provide multiple information okay so now i have authorization now i will execute this invalid or missing book id so something is missing whatever it is but previously we are getting what missing authorization header now it is giving some other means this is working means it is authorized but there is something some other issue. So the moment when I execute, I'm getting invalid or missing book. Something is missing. So what is that? In the submit order, we need to provide body in the body, in the raw section, we need to provide some information. So what is that? Let me put that also. So it is saying missing book ID, right? It is missing book ID. I will provide that book ID. And we need to provide one more information called customer name. Okay, so I have provided this information, close this and then execute this now. You see that? created true, this is the order ID. Submit order, I've got order ID. But our intention is we need to provide some header information. You see that here, you can provide multiple headers according to your requirement. If you do not want to give here, just click on this edit section and you can provide here. Everything will get reflected here, okay? This is all about request headers in API Tester mobile app, okay? So that's all in this video. Thank you.